He also quoted a Quranic verse like Rafidin, which means there is no compulsion in religion. Compulsion is worthless. At the point of the gun or the knife, you force somebody to say, read the Shahada, the Kalima, the creed of Islam, and the man is forced to read. What is it worth? Nothing. There is no compulsion in religion. But the insinuation is that the Muslims were doing compulsion. I said, look, my brother, Sarosh, you are a proof that the Muslims didn't use any compulsion for 1,400 years. For 1,400 years, you and your other Christians, whom you now say number 14 million, they lived in our midst. In, in Egypt, the Muslims have been the overlord of that country for 1,400 years. For a few years, the French came. For a few years, the British came. But overall, for 1,400 years, the Muslim has been ruling that land. And yet, and yet, today, you can boast there are 10 million Coptic Christians in Egypt. If there was compulsion of any kind, there would not have been a single Christian left in the country. The Muslims ruled Spain for 800 years. 800 years. We, because we failed to deliver the message, we were kicked out. We were kicked out. Shame on us. We didn't fulfill our obligations. But if they had used any type of force, even economic force, for 800 years, there would not have been a single Christian left in that country. We Muslims, we rule India for a thousand years. But after a thousand years of Muslim rule, eventually when partition takes place, the Muslim gets one quarter, the Hindu gets three quarter. Why? Because we didn't do the job. We didn't use any compulsion. And which Muslim army went to Indonesia? Which Muslim army went to Nigeria? Which Muslim army conquered the east coast of Africa? Which Muslim army? Today, the British Muslim, the Britisher and the American, he's coming towards Islam. I want to know what sword, what sword, what sword is the Muslim using? The sword of the intellect. George Bernard Shaw, he said, if any religion has a chance of conquering England, nay Europe, within the next hundred years, so that religion is Islam. Shaw, Bernard Shaw had the foresight, he could see. But we Muslims, we have failed Islam. Wallah, we have failed. We have failed. We haven't made a start yet. We believe. We say we believe, but we have not made a start yet. This is our problem. The, the destiny is ours. Wallah, it is ours. Allah says, He has given you a deen, a way of life that is the master, super, overcome and supersede them all, bulldoze them all, whether it be Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianism, Communism, Judaism, every ism. Sword, sword. I'm asking, what sword? Thomas Carlyle. Thomas, Thomas Carlyle, Thomas Carlyle in 1840, he delivered a series of lectures here in the UK. In England, Thomas Carlyle, one of the greatest things of the past century. Thomas Carlyle. And he says, the sword, the sword. He said, the sword indeed. But where will you get your sword? He said, every new opinion at its beginning is precisely in the minority of one. In one man's head alone, there it dwells as yet. That he take a sword and try to propagate with that will do little for him. He said, first, you must get your sword. And how do you get your sword? Through the intellect, through reasoning. Allah says, invite all to the ways of thy Lord with wisdom. 
the sword of the intellect of wisdom. Well, more is al hasanati and with beautiful preaching, wajadilhum billati ahsan and reason with them in the ways that are best and most gracious. This is the sword. <laughs>